on the second day of Christmas my true love gave to me. Hey y'all, happy Vlogmas Day 14. Let's go ahead and start it off and see what's in our um, 12 Days of Beauty Advent Calendar for day number two. Alright, day number two, mistletoe magic, huh? That must be a lippy. And I am right. Apply in a circular motion, remove gently with a cotton pad, and then finish with the lip balm. So it's a lip exfoliator. All right, there we go. It's a lip exfoliator by e.l.f. Apply in a circular motion, remove gently with a cotton pad, then finish with a lip balm. Okay, so this should come in handy, especially for the winter. My lips get really dry all the time. That's why I'm always applying like a gloss or a chapstick lip balm or something like that. So I'm going to try this out today and see how it goes. So, okay. It says to apply in a circular motion. I forgot that part. <laughs> okay, I can feel like the scrubbies in it. Okay, and then it says to remove a cotton ball. I don't have any cotton balls, so I'm just going to use this semi-damp makeup remover. Goodness. <laughs> hmm. Lips actually feel nice and soft. Okay, I might like that one. I like that one. And then apply lip balm. This is those EOS balls or EOS or however you say it. I love these things. Um, as y'all can see, it's time for a new one because it doesn't even have a two on it anymore. <laughs> oh, yes. Anywho, y'all, I am, um, that's not my watch. I have on my, my bracelet that says Alexia. But it is 1.02 and I am getting ready to um, finish packing up my stuff so I can head to the shuttle, so I can head to the airport, so I can get on my flight to Chicago. Um, I just got an email that said the flight was delayed, but I'm still going to get there on time because you just never know. It might end up not being delayed and then you'll get left. So I'm not going to do that. So let me finish packing up and um, I will see y'all later. Made it to the airport. Flight is still delayed. It's 2.39. Flight is not supposed to be departing until like 4.50 or something now. I decided to actually dine in our terminal. I was, I won't go for spaghetti and meatballs. So there's this Italian restaurant that I always walk by. So I decided to go for it today. Doesn't that look yummy? And I don't know why, but I've never realized that in the airports, they don't give you um, like real knives. They give you plastic knives, but they give you a real fork. You can do almost the same amount of damage with a fork <laughs> as you can with a knife if you like really about that life. You can stab somebody to death with a fork. <laughs> That's still dangerous, but whatever. <laughs> so that meal was really good. Like. I'm surprised that their pork food tastes that good. I don't know why I'm surprised, but I am. I'm about to pop into Baked by Melissa and get some cupcakes for my nieces and nephews. So when I get to Chicago, I won't be empty-handed since I haven't seen them in so long. And I'll probably get some for myself because I like them just that much. So it's only like 3 o'clock. The original departure time, or the original boarding time for the flight was 3.15. So I'm just going to walk down here and see if there's a gate agent because even when your flight's delayed you still want to show up at the original departure time just in case the delay is moved back up. You know you don't want to miss your flight because you being lazy or, or whatever. So I'm going to walk down here see what's really going on. I can check my iPad and see but I just... Whatever. I don't have nothing else to do, so I'm just going to walk down here and see what's happening. So yeah, flight's really delayed. Um, I'm going to go back around 4 
and go sit at the gate, but I still have about a good hour, hour and a half before the flight takes off now, so I'm just gonna go back to the crew lounge and chill in there, away from the terminal, away from all the things that I could possibly buy in the terminal. Maybe take a nap. Who knows? Why is this child on the floor? Made it to Chicago, y'all. We had a delay of about an hour and a half. It was a rolling delay, so. Um, rolling delay meaning that the aircraft was late early in the day, so every flight, it just kind of rolled into more delay time. But I am here. My nephew is on his way to come scoop me up. This airport, Chicago airport, is massive, y'all. I don't even know where. Um, like I was supposed to go outside for him to find me. I mean, I don't want to go outside because it's like two degrees out there. But let me probably call him and see exactly where he is. Yeah, y'all know the first thing I do is stop and get something to eat. Say hi to the vlog. Hold on. Can we go through there or no? <laughs> That's my nephew behind me, guys. I guess so. Um, what's this place called? Pita Inn. Pita Inn. We just stopped and picked up some food from Pita Inn, and hungry. then we're gonna. Hungry is it? We're hungry. <laughs> gonna eat and go to bed. I'm here at um, my sister's house. The same sister that was in the hospital. She's actually still in the hospital. She um, had an ulcer, she had a hole in her stomach, so she's been in the hospital for a few days, but she's coming home tomorrow morning. So, so happy about that. And I just got off the phone with her. We were talking for like 30 minutes, and usually, I mean, I'm really close with my mother's side of the family. Um, not so much as close with my dad's side of the family, including, um, well, yeah, not as close with my dad's side of the family. And my sister is 15 years older than me as well, so we just don't really talk that much at all. But this conversation just really made me realize that I really need to keep that bond going with my sister because at the end of the day, she's my sister. And my nephews, I mean, I haven't seen them in so long. And my little niece, y'all haven't seen her yet. I'll probably show y'all her. She's 12. Cutest little thing ever, y'all. She just told me, she was like, I get on my mommy's Instagram and I look at your pictures and you just look so cool. And I was just like, oh, melt my heart. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm really happy to be here. And I can't wait for her to come home. But um, tomorrow I'm going to go do some exploring in the city. Um, my sister was supposed to be going to the concert with me, but I think she's um, going to rest just a little bit more when she comes home tomorrow because obviously she just got out of the hospital and she's still on meds. So I have a friend that lives here as well that I used to work with at, um, at Ralph Lauren in Houston. So me and her are going to link up and probably go get some food and then go to the concert together tomorrow so i will show y'all all of that thanks for watching vlogmas day 14. don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll see you tomorrow Bye.